Right, okay, so we're going to do exam question walkthrough with sisters in parallel again, but we're going to do it using a method without a calculator so we can do the lowest common denominator. Right, okay, let's go through that now anyway. So if you've watched the first one, you'll see how we did it, and then now we can see how we'd do it if we want to do it using the lowest common denominator. So it's exactly the same question again that we're looking at here. So we're looking at the same thing again. So the below resistors are connected in parallel. Calculate the resistance total, total resistance. Well, let's just write this out again so we remember what we've got. So our formula we need is 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay, so let's circle that over there. So we've got that in the bag. Right, and then we labeled these, didn't we? So we labeled these as R1. R2 and R3. Right, sound. Okay, so let's move on. So remember this time we're going to use a method using the lowest common denominator. Okay, so let's start by writing this out anyway as we need it to be written. So if 1 over RT is going to be equal to 1 divided by R1, which is 3 ohms, plus 1 over R2, which is 6 ohms, plus 1 over R3, which is 9 ohms. Okay, so we're using the lowest common denominator for these. So the denominator is this number, isn't it, below the divisor line. So 3, 6, and 9 are our uh, denominators. So the lowest common denominator here, the, basically what we're saying is, is what number will all these guys go into? What's the lowest number that all these three numbers will divide into? So the easiest way to do this is multiply the largest one by 2 and then see if these ones fit into it. So 9 times 2 is 18. So does 6 go into 18? Yes, it does. Does 3 go into 18? Yes, it does. Let's just write this down here and we'll see how many times it goes into it, etc. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at now is, if we write this out again, 1 over RT is equal to, and then we're going to write, so however many times, let's write our denominator in first. So all this is going to be divided by our denominator, which is 18, because we know that 9 goes in it twice. So let's write the 9 there. We know that 6 goes into 18 three times. So let's write a 3 there. And we know that 3 goes into 18 six times. So let's write that there. So now this is what we're looking at. 1 over RT is equal to 6 plus 3 plus 2 divided by 18. Okay. So let's simplify it a bit and let's add these together and write it down as it looks. So 6 plus 3 plus 2. It's 11. Still got our lowest common denominator of 18. Right, okay. So let's just stop here for a sec and write this out now. So if we know that, if we know now that 1 over the resistance total, so the reciprocal of the resistance total is equal to 11 divided by 18, what we actually need to do in order to turn this into an actual number is flip these round, don't we? So we need to flip these round. When I say flip them round, I just mean write it like this. 18 over 11. So if 1 over RT is equal to 11 over 18, the RT, the resistance total, is equal to 18 over 11. Okay? And when we type that into our calculators, we come up with this answer. 1.63 recurring. And again, same answer as the last time we did it on the calculator. We can round that to 1.64. So let's double check again. Remember, resistors in parallel the total resistance that we get as our answer, in this case it's 1.64, is always lower than any individual resistor. So 1.64 is lower than 3, 6 and 9, isn't it? So it's correct. Let's recap them. So we did a question here where we're looking at the below resistors are connected in parallel. Calculate the resistance total. So we wrote our formula out for resistors in parallel, trying to calculate the resistance total. And this time, we're going to use a method of using the lowest common denominator. So you remember that from school, which is the lowest number that all these three, the denominators, will, will uh, divide into. Right, okay. And however many times they divide into it is what we write in this bit. So we wrote our formula out. 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 3, which is R1, plus 1 over 6, which is R2, plus 1 over 9, which is R3. So we know that 1 over the resistance total is equal to 6 plus 3 plus 2. Now, where have I got this 6 plus 3 plus 2 from? Well, if you remember, we decided our lowest common denominator was 18 for this one, didn't we? 18 goes, sorry, 9 goes into 18 two times. So we write 2 here for this. 
6 goes into 18 three times, so we write a 3 here. And 3 goes into 18 six times. So we're looking at 1 over resistance total is equal to 6 plus 3 plus 2 divided by 18. Okay, so let's write that out more simply, which is this. 11 over 18, because 11 is 6 plus 3 plus 2. Okay, and we box that off there. And we wrote this out now again. So 1 over the resistance total. So the reciprocal, the resistance total, is equal to 11 over 18. So don't get confused by the word reciprocal. If you need to go back and research that, it's fine. But all it means in this case is, if 1 over resistance total is 11 over 18, it means we can flip it round to 18 divided by 11 is the resistance total. So the resistance total is equal to 18 divided by 11, which equals 1.63 which we rounded to 1.64 because it's 6.3 recurring. So if you did the last question, you'll see that that's exactly the same answer that we got on the last question we did it with a calculator. Personally, I think the calculator method's a lot quicker, but it is good to understand how to do that so you'd have an idea of how two ways of doing it. Okay.